everybody. Welcome to Friday's Fun Food Facts. Today we are talking about one of my favorite things and that's bone broth or bone stock. And as you can see from this list, I've only listed seven items here, but it really is beneficial for every area of our body, from our joints and arthritis to our gut health, if you have any kind of food restrictions or irritable bowel, um, for our strengthening our immunity, it's great for the skin and the hair, cellular repair because of the amino acids, brain health and increases the speed of our metabolism and there's actually even more benefits to it than this. So today I'm going to show you what it takes to make it um, and highly encourage you to, to, to start making it yourself and actually I tell people that if you're willing to start making a change in your health this is definitely one area that I would say if you're going to start somewhere start here. Start at bone broth. If you're going to start with one thing and you're willing to make one change, this would be it um, because it's just overall that great for you. So this is what you start with is bones, okay? And it's simple. Turkey, turkey bones, chicken bones. I've even got some beef bones in there. I freeze them and throw them in the crock pot frozen. You don't even have to thaw them out. So you throw them in there frozen. And then here's your veggies. Um, and the great thing about this is you don't have to peel anything. As you can see, the onions aren't peeled. The garlic is whole. I'm just going to throw that in there just like that. You don't have to peel anything. I always try to add some mushrooms, dried mushrooms and fresh mushrooms. I'm not a big mushroom fan, so this is a great way to get the benefits of mushrooms. I even use radish. If I have fennel, I use fennel. Um, and then these are herbs. Now, this is fresh parsley. This is dill. I had some extra dill left over. It's going to go bad, so I'm going to throw that in there. And then this right here... This is fresh ginger root and fresh turmeric root, and those are peppercorns. Now, I'm going to talk by myself on a video um, about the benefits of ginger and turmeric root. Not going to get into that today, um, but if you don't have this, don't worry about it. You don't have to put that in there. And then right here, these are just some fresh herbs that I always add. They're like basil, oregano, thyme, rosemary, that sort of thing. And then I always put a little bit, a couple squirts of apple cider, Bragg's apple cider vinegar in, in my bone broth. Now, I want to just encourage you. If you don't have all these herbs on hand, don't get wrapped around the axle about that. As long as you've got some vegetables, your bones, and your water, you're going to be good to go. I also like to add some tomato paste to it just because it gives depth of flavor. The acid helps to break the bones down. And then you cover it with cold water. Turn it on high. 48 hours, which is two days. You let it cook. Set it and forget it. And what that simmering process does is it draws out of the animal bones all of the collagen and gelatin and all of the nutrients in those bones and puts it in the broth and then we consume it. So you don't have to get, I don't even put salt in this. I re-season mine once I heat it back up to eat it, then I season it. So don't worry about it if you don't have herbs or anything like that. Just throw some vegetables and stock in there and then I freeze it. I, I strain everything out and I freeze it in different sized containers as you can see right here. Um, and I thaw it out and I drink it. Um, you can use it in soup. You can make soup out of it, stews, sauces. I just like to heat it up, put a little bit of sea salt or Himalayan salt, and drink it. So this is a great starting point. It really is a great starting point for, for eating things and taking things in your diet, especially during colds and flu seasons. If you have allergies, bone broth is great. I really have a testimony with this. I struggle with IBS and leaky gut syndrome, and I started drinking bone broth regularly in the wintertime, and just the probiotics that it contains alone has just naturally helped heal my gut. It's really, really, really made a difference in my life. So I highly encourage you to try this. And I hope this answered your bone broth questions today. And stay tuned for next week because we're going to cover eggs, one of my favorites, and what are some of the best things to eat before and after a hard workout. Thanks so much, guys. See you next week.